Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at one of the best floor plans and best price point motorhomes in the RV industry. This is a 2021 Coachman Pursuit Model 31TS. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Pursuit and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. again welcome back to another video my name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews it's the world's only channel giving you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs and again today I am super excited to be taking a look at this very well designed floor plan the Pursuit 31 TS but before I begin I would like to say hi to Andrea hey Andrea hi everybody how's it going it's going good it's been a while since I've looked at a Coachman Pursuit, so I'm yes. excited. And I do want to say congratulations to the Murray family. Yes. They are the, the new owners of this beautiful RV. Yes. Now, they bought this one, and it's a 2021. So if you're watching this past a week or two, you're going to have to order a 2022. But we still have two more of these in stock. So if you like it, make sure you move fast. Andrea, let's begin. Model is Coachman Pursuit 31 TS. The actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 33 feet long. Now this is the Pursuit. It is Coachman's entry level motorhome, but trust me, there's nothing entry level about it. When you look at Coachman's interior design and a lot of the features that you're getting on the same higher end level, the Murata, the Encore, and all, all the fancy stuff. You know, it's a really great looking coach at a great price. Right here we do have the engine compartment and a nice very big windshield. Coming on down the side here, because this is a 2021, it does have the new 7.3 liter V8 Godzilla. Oop, what the heck? It does have the 7.3 liter V8. It is the Godzilla engine. 350 horsepower and 468 pound-feet of torque. And then check this out. You have your mirrors right here, black mirrors. And you have side cameras right here oh. for your left side, right side, and reverse. And then look at these tires, Andrea. They're the good years. 245-70R19.5. And you do have those shiny rims right there. Coming on down the side here, you can see it's a nice gray motorhome with decals. Now, it's not full body paint. Um, it, it is just fiberglass. But what is real nice is because it's a coachman, they do use the Asdale sidewall composite, which is a green base material that will never delaminate on you. Also, we have a very nice power awning with LED lights. Andrea, let's take a look at that when it's all the way out. Look at that. Very nice power awning with LED lights. I like the, um, pattern it's pretty yes yes and there is speakers integrated into the awning as well to give you that nice surround sound feel right here we do have a tv on the outside very nice with the speakers in it and everything and then check out this storage now this does have the twisty storage which we don't like but look at the oversized compartment doors oh wow look at that isn't that nice that's a good size too very nice you can put your coolers in there or whatever really really nice feature right here we got storage right there pass through yes ma'am coming on down the side here power right here if you want to have like a golf cart to plug in on the outside that's your campsite look at this i might not like these twisty doors but i do like the amount of storage that comes with it and then look at this more storage there pass through again man also right underneath there andrea is your propane quick connect if you do want to have a grill on the outside coming around the back we do have a nice bumper for your stinky slinky backup camera right there and you do have a hitch eight thousand pound hitch now it doesn't mean this motorhome can tow eight thousand pounds you're good at five thousand pounds any more weight than that you want to check to see how much weight you're loading up in the motorhome also, you have your fuel fill up right here in the rear, so it makes it easy to access on both your left side and right side. Also, 
we do have a one piece um a one piece not pvc but like a cross flex cross flex die core roof andrea let's go up there and take a look wow hold hold on here we go now up here on the roof you can see it's a nice one piece roof we have not one but two air conditioning units i love that 50 amp unit right there's your king air digital antenna you have not one but two places for max air fans and then look at this it already comes with a solar panel on the roof take your time oh my goodness okay so that very last step you got a little bit of a Okay, smart. Great! And if you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button for us. Where do the RV salesman's taking his fat ass up on the Murray's roof to show you what features the roof has to offer? Nobody. Nobody. And when you guys smash that thumbs up button and comment, it helps our videos perform better. So thank you guys. Thank you guys. And we read every comment. Absolutely. Finishing up with the driver's side. Water heater right there more storage as andre said it was a pass through very nice here's your cable hookup your city water connection your black tank flush okay right over here look at this very nice wet bay it's where you dump very your black clean. and gray tank clean and organized sewer flush outdoor shower and everything finishing up other side yes other side of the storage right there Okay. And then this is what's a little unique right here, Andrea. Look at this. <gasps> it what? has the Kawasaki NPS 5500 gasoline generator. Not Kawasaki. What am I saying? Yamaha. Yamaha. NPS 5500 gasoline generator. Wow. I've not, that's the first time I've seen that. It's, it's new and it's coming and everybody's starting to use different generators and Yay. everything. Just because units are getting hard. You know, you're seeing that with AC units and refrigerators and everything. We got to get what we can get. Right. And then check this out. Bam, there's your propane tanks. And Andrea, if somebody wants to see all the specs about this motorhome, bing, we have all the specs, tank sizes, lengths, widths, everything about this motorhome right there. Also down in the description for everybody to see. And then here, Andrea, when you have a ton of storage, on the outside of a motorhome, what do you need more of? Storage. There you go, just a little bit more because you can never have enough. Well, Andrea, the outside of the pursuit looks great, okay? But I'm telling you, it is the inside that makes this motorhome special. Let's go, take a look. Grab the cargo. The CCC, 1694. Okay, all right, everybody. Okay, slide is in. Wait, wait, wait. I want to walk through here. Yes. Oh, you turn clothes on. Now look at this walkway. Andrea, oh my goodness, you guys. The look. slide out is Hold in. Hold on. The slide is in. Wow. This almost feels like a classy to me because of all the space right here. Yes. Walking through. Wow. Okay. And then we got the bathroom there. And then, oh my goodness. Let's see. The bed is interesting. I think that. I think it's supposed to fold up. Yeah. It looks like a folding bed. Yeah, definitely, because it's part of it's on here, so it is a fold up. Beautiful colors, nice, bright, clean look, modern. Andre, the colors are amazing. Coachman always does a good job with their interior. And Andrea, wall slide out's coming out. We just want to remind everybody that Andrea and I are going to FMCA rally in Gillette, Wyoming, July 7th through the 10th. So we hope to see everybody there and we're going to meet you guys and you know, it's going to be pretty cool. We have a pretty busy schedule this summer, don't we? We do, we do. And we've never been to Wyoming, so nope. it's, it's hopefully, you know, I hear it's a beautiful state and we're really excited. Perfect. And if anybody has any recommendations 
of restaurants or anything while we're up there, just let us know. Andrea, look at this cockpit area. Ain't it nice? Hey. I do like it. Look at this. I like how everything's facing me. I have my camera here, my control panels here, every my dash right here, auto leveling right here. Everything's right here. And then look how far up I'm sitting. I really do like the position of it. It makes it nice and easy and I feel comfortable to drive. I don't have 20 feet in front of me like I'm feeling like I'm driving in the middle of the motorhome. Right. I can easily see my left side and right side and all my buttons and commands are just within within the push of a button. An arm's length. Got Sirius XM and everything. And I'm trying to sit in my co-captain seat. And look how plush that looks. The two-tone seat color. Yes, I, it looks very comfortable. Let's see. Okay, it is very comfortable. Yes. All right, I love this. So Air nice. It's sturdy. You got your USBs up here. Yes. Um, you got a cup holder here. And then look how much foot space you have underneath. I do. Man, that's amazing. Um, you get privacy curtains that go all the way around. Yes, yes. There's some cubbies here. Um, these seats do swivel. Yep, absolutely. And we do have a bunk over the cab. Now this isn't an electric bunk, which is a pro and a con. So the con is you have to manually do this. And who wants to do stuff manually? The pro is when you're not dealing with electrical components. And our max weight is what, 300 babe or 200? I don't know yet. The pro is when you're not dealing with electronical components, that's something else that isn't gonna break. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You'll see it when you go up on the other side when you put it back up. But oh, look at that. Was it up there? Yeah, it was oh, okay. on the other side. So it, it's a little bad. It's definitely for one person. Okay. You might have said 200 right there, right, right, right there. Oh, 300, 300 pounds. 300 pounds. Andre, if it was a snake, I would have been dead. <laughs> it was like right in front of my face and I couldn't see it. And then over here in the living room area, look at this light fixture. Industrial. Art Deco. Mm, mm, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> but look at this. Look how, Andre, this felt big and spacious when the slide out was in. And now it's even more spacious. I love the color in here. We have storage underneath the dinette. Both of them, both yes. sides. Yes. Nice. Amazing. White wood with gray furniture. Looks great. We have a nice uh titanic shaped light fixture right there with a sailboat that's cute very big window now it's not frameless windows but look how big that window is the whole thing will slide open and it's just very very nice also this dinette will drop down to make a bed and then over here we have nice cabinetry above Andrea, how do you like the balances? I like their balances. I've already commented. And they've been using the same ones, and I, I like them. Hey, if it's not broke, don't fix it. I like the frosted look that they give you here. Everything. The the interior designers that Coachman is one of the best, in my opinion. That we have these theater seats right here with a place for uh, remote control. Cup you holders. got cup holders and everything. I love it. And then we have a really good angle at that TV. You got the TV right there with sound bar, graystone fireplace and everything. And notice how empty that wall looks. I'm hoping it's so it's for a bigger bathroom on the inside. Right, I just noticed there's no cabinetry above it. Right, and a lot of times when they do that, it's because it takes up that bathroom and I hope it doesn't do it for this unit. But it does have cabinets right here. Ah, show it, show it Andrea, very Ooh, nice. Oh, good space. This might be part of the pantry. Yeah, it sure is. Very nice. Soft clothes. It yeah. sure was. Well, Andre, do you know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. <laughs> MSRP on this motorhome here is $152,336, Andrea. MSRP. Sale price, as you can see there, we don't currently have a sale price just because the state of the RV industry is fluctuating. But Andrea, I'm telling you now, the Murrays didn't pay anywhere close to that price. And if you want to get a great price like they did on this motorhome or any motorhome, Andrea, 
Tell everybody how to get the best price in America. You can call, you can text, you can email, you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Send me an email or the best thing to do is go to the website mattsrvreviews.com. There you will see three contact me tabs. If you're ready to buy this motorhome or any motorhome, click tab number one. That takes you to General RV where somebody from my team will get you the best price in America. It's your Matt Cash form. If you're not ready to buy this RV, not a problem. Click tab number two. That sends an email to both Will and myself and we're here to help answer all your questions if you're not ready to buy yet or if it's just a generalized fan question, click that third tab. And Andrea, it doesn't matter if somebody clicks tab three, two, or one. It doesn't matter if they work with my internet team or if they print out their Mac cash and bring it into stores with them. What's the one thing they'll always get? They'll get the best price in America. Burr, 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 burr. Andrea, let's continue the video. Okay, look at this kitchen. Yes. Pretty. Okay, so we have a cabinet. We got the shelf there. We have we have shades here. Yes. Okay. Cute backsplash. Uh huh. And we got drawers, soft clothes. I love it, I love it. Okay, we got a double sink. Okay. And an extension, but I want oh. to show you this. I, This is very interesting to me. Look, Look at, at that. This. Secret cabinet. So Secret. You could put like your utensils in here and then just put them back in there. I have never seen that. I absolutely love that design. <laughs> and we got a cabinet under here, space for a trash can. Big. Big storage. Big storage. Yeah. Okay, another cabinet. And then we got the microwave. Very nice. Three burner cooktop. Okay. With the glass cover. Magic Chef. Propane. Yep, yeah, Magic Chef. Ooh. With an oven. Yes. And then we got a big drawer here. Okay, guys, this is the Everchill compressor fridge. Very nice. That is so nice. Yes. Good size. It is. And then we already went over the pantry, which was yep. over here. The pantry was right here. And then Andre, into the bathroom. Oh, hold on. What? You didn't show the pocket. I like this. Look at the pocket oh. door here. Hold on. Oh, I like that. Very nice. Gives you nice privacy. privacy. Yes, ma'am. And there's a pocket door in the bedroom. That's nice, Matt, instead of having the door that sometimes it hooks on the magnet. Yep. Yep, for sure. And then right here, Andrea, we're in a really nice size shower. You know, it's the center shower concept, but I mean, look at this. It's a really big shower. The Nautilus it's door. It's very, very nice. Very nice. Okay. 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 okay, look at oh, that. Oh, wow. Look oh my that. goodness. Look at that. Would you look at that? We have a nice mirror right here. Okay, nice little sink area. Storage right there. Right? Got a fan up there, guys, and a window. Andrea. Look at this. This isn't a porcelain toilet. This is an electric porcelain what? toilet. What? Push one, you, you push eco, so here's, here's what you do. You're just taking a pee, you push number one. If you're taking a poo and you need to flush it down, you push number two. Now here's what I will say. This is hilarious. I am going to give it a prime poop musician. Bing! A small one. This is in the way. It's still good, but if you have fatter legs, if you have longer legs, this this is this is just this is useless. This is so dumb right there. You know what I'm saying? They need to just cut this out. It's just wood. Um good good I like it. I like it but they almost jeopardized it with that right there. You see what I'm saying? I do. And it's just crazy. Great. Oh right. man. Okay, so going into the master, there is another pocket door here. And so the bed was a foldable bed. Yeah. King size King is that. King size. Yes. Cute headboard. Oh, look. Wow. USBs, cute nightstand table. And we got the storage above. Yes, And then the Coach Pop station, Matt. Yes, yes. Let me open that for you. 
Very nice. And there is the... And what you do is you put your CPAP machine in there, and then you run the hose down. Nice headboard, nice look. Yeah. This look is great. It is. I like it. It feels very homey in here. Chilling with my homie. Yeah, I mean, it feels like, you know, you're in your own home. Yeah. Nice wardrobe. Got the TV here with storage behind. Yes, I am. And you get a big... This is interesting how high this is. And it's let's nice. see. Yeah, we got how many? Five drawers, soft clothes. I love that. And then right here, it's prepped for oh, a combo washer what? dryer. Yes. Oh my goodness. No, seriously, that is going to change so many things. Yep. I don't think they've ever done that before. Nope, nope. I and have been wanting that on an entry level class A. Yeah. So you guys, this is a game changer. And then we got another wardrobe here. Right, But right. oh my goodness, wow. And Andrea, as wow as it is, and as nice as it is, it's now time we give you three things we love about the Murray's Motorhome and three things we don't like about it, Andrea. What do we do with first? Um, three things we dislike about it. Yes. I'm gonna go first. Sure. Don't like the flip up bag. My opinion, never have liked it, never will liked it. But in a motorhome this small, I did, we didn't even mention it's king size bed. Right. But in a motorhome this small, to get a king size bed, you have to do the flip up. And as Andrea said, it is prepped for the combo washer dryer. So Andrea rather have this than, than a full bed in the back. So positives and negatives. Yep. That is number one. You ready for number two, Andrea? Sure. This unnecessariness right here. They did such a good job with a great toilet, with a great electric toilet, with a great size bathroom. They did not need to have this there and it almost jeopardized the PPP. And Andre, you know what the rule is, don't mess with the PPP, you know why? Why? Because the PPP. Yeah, you know me. Oh, sorry, I totally forgot about that song. Goodness, yeah, yeah. I was like really, really young when that came out. Yeah. Let, let's continue. <laughs> okay. So that's uh, two dislikes. My dislike is, okay, so even though, and this is not a big deal, I am going to comment about the doghouse. Okay. And it not having a place for a pedestal table. Got so it. To me, it is a big deal only because if, if it was me and I was in this motorhome, I would want to be able to sit here and be able to do some work or be able to turn around and maybe, you know, talk right. and entertain people. Yep. Or say if Matt is working over somewhere else and I want my own space, like a little office. Yep. So that's okay. the only thing. You know what? I don't think I I don't think that's good enough for its own, and I don't think that storage was good enough for its own. So we're gonna combo those two, and I'm gonna give you a third dislike. Okay. I hate the twisty doors on the outside. Yeah. Always have, always will. Don't like the twisty doors, never have liked it, never will like it. But Andrea. That leads to three things we love about this motorhome. You ready for me to go first? Sure. Even though we don't like the twisty doors, I love how much exterior storage is on this motorhome. Yes. So many times on these entry level motorhomes, it's they're smaller. They don't have that storage capacity. So to be able to give you that type of storage and to combo it with the inside storage, with the nice white cabinetry and the soft closed drawers, I absolutely love that about this. Okay. That's so, number one. Andrea, number two? I have the, the second and third. But Whoa, I'm, number two and three? Okay, so what I'm gonna say is, obviously we all know I like white cabinetry. Yes. But what I am gonna say that's important to me is having two pocket doors right here. The pockets. Every time I'm normally in a motor home that's entry level, I don't, you don't always see a pocket door on both master and right here. You'll see like You'll one of those curtain door things. door that you have to yeah. use for privacy and it has a magnet. So this to me is a big deal. Perfect. That's number two. And then Andrea, what's number three? Oh my goodness. Talk this to me. This is so exciting everybody. Yes. I don't know if you get it, but the, the fact that you can get a combo washer dryer in a class A gas entry motor home is a big deal. At a, this price big, point. Oh my goodness, it's a amazing. very big deal. I haven't seen it. Yes. So I am really excited about that. Well, Coachman's an innovator and Absolutely. they do a lot of things. We're gonna we're, and we're gonna combo that with the whole bedroom. Yes. I like how much storage it is. 
it, it it's it's a smaller class a but it makes it feel big and spacious yes. i like the cpap station and i do like the king bed even though the bed flips off well andrea that's it that's the review that's the 31 ts if you guys have any questions about this motorhome please call text send us an email it is mets rv reviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962 that is my personal cell or the best thing to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com and click one of the free contacting tabs. In a few seconds, if you're on the market for a price point motorhome like this, we are going to put its competitors right here and here for you to watch. Andre, is there anything you'd like to say? Yes! Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Coachman does read the comments and they watch the videos so they are interested to see what you guys have to say yes um you guys thank you so much for always supporting us yes and, and being loyal and your feedback and your positivity it really keeps us going and you have no idea and, how much and we appreciate each and every we one do. of you we love all you guys i hope you guys are safe and well Thanks thank for you watching thank you so much for watching and andrea we'll, we'll see, see you, you next time, time.